Welcome to another demonstration of the CISRO platform. Today I will be showing you how to perform a Robbins Eye assessment using a series of categorical labels. To give some quick context, Robbins Eye is a tool for assessing risk of bias in non-randomized studies of interventions. These include observational studies, such as cohort and case control studies. As you can see, the tool's publication contains step-by-step -step instructions on how to complete an assessment. Step 5 and 6 of which are to formulate risk of bias judgments for each of the seven bias domains, as well as to formulate an overall judgment on risk of bias. Here you can see the seven domains of bias, as well as a brief explanation. Rather than review them here, I urge you to read this publication. To aid our users looking to apply such a tool, we have created two public projects to serve as guides. Here is the public project for the basic labels version of the Robbins Eye tool, Project 80252. Accessible by every CISREV user, it contains eight categorical labels, one for each bias domain and then an overall judgment. For convenience, we have included a link to the original publication. At this time, I'd like to quickly point out and give thanks to Dr. Keenan, who first compiled this information and the basic label set. You can see links to her work here. Quickly, let me give you an overview of the labels. As you can see, there is a categorical label for each bias domain, as well as the overall risk of bias. On the Review tab, we see the exact same labels to the left. Clicking on any one label will show the options, low, moderate, serious, and critical. As a public project with only basic labels, this tool construct is available to any CISREV user. To use the labels in your own project, you can either independently export and import each label using CISREV's shared label functionality, or you can clone the project to your own account, which copies the labels and articles, but not any answers. Let me quickly show you how to do that here. Click Clone, select the account where you want the project to go, and then simply go to the Add Manage Articles page, delete my PubMed search, and add your own articles. Some of you may be wondering, what happens if I need to formulate a judgment on multiple outcome result pairings? In fact, the Robbins Eye Assessment specifically states that you need to perform the assessment for each outcome result pair. For our free users, we recommend cloning the project as often as is required in order to assess each outcome result pair. For CISRA Pro users, you can use group labels to perform multiple assessments in a single project. For convenience, we have translated the Robbins Eye basic labels into a group label. This group label can be found in Public Project 80260. Just like the basic label project, you will find the Robbins Eye publication as well as a brief description of each domain. Once I click Review, however, the eight categorical labels are condensed into one group label. Clicking on the group label will expand to show a table with the column for outcome, result, each of the bias domains, and the overall risk of bias. Simply add a blank row, add some outcomes and results from the publication, and assess per usual. Once again, if you want to use this tool in your own project, simply clone it or export it and import it into a new project. Remember, you will need a pro account to use the group label functionality. If you have any questions or would like to see a specific tutorial in the future, please email us at info at Until next time.